Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome. Welcome to Achieve Intentional Transformation. I am your host, trauma survivor, an impact storyteller, and author of the books, The Thread Collection, Dr. Leonie H. Matheson. Welcome, my friends. Welcome into this brand new day. I pray that you receive many blessings. God bless your hearts today. I feel empowered this morning to inspire you from the word of God, which is taken from St. John 10 and verse 10. And one of the reasons why I'm actually referencing this uh, scripture today, it is based off of a question that's been posed to me and I feel compelled to share my response with everyone, all of my listening friends. And so before I jump into today's devotional, why don't you go ahead, come, come pull up the, pull up a chair, come sit with me and we're going to talk to the Lord. We're going to talk to our daddy. Just have a little talk with Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you this morning. We thank you. We praise you. We exalt your name, Yahweh. You are the Most High God. As we pause at this moment to seek you to get into your word and to hear what you've got to say to us today, Lord, have your way. Let us hear what you want us to hear. And Father, open our eyes so that we may see your provision, your protection, and your guidance. We salute you this morning and we say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for thank you for praying with me this morning. I appreciate you. And wherever you're listening from today, let me say again a hearty welcome from beautiful Santa Barbara, California. You've tuned into the Achieve Intentional Transformation program where my mission is to help you to transform from trauma. Let's jump into the word this morning. Again, I'm going to be looking at St. John 10. And uh, I'm going to read a couple of verses from St. John 10. I like to read from the Passion Translation version of the Bible. <laughs> you can find it on the YouVersion um, Bible app or you can find it online at Bible Gateway. But we're going to, that's where I'll be reading from this morning. And um, it's the parable of the kind shepherd. So I'm going to start from verse 1, and I'll I'll probably read down to verse 10. It'll be a little bit of a longer reading this morning, so bear with me. Jesus said to the Pharisees, listen to this eternal truth. The person who sneaks over the wall to enter into the sheep pen, rather than coming through the gate, reveals himself as a thief coming to steal. But the true shepherd walks right up to the gate. And because the gatekeeper knows who he is, he opens the gate to let him in. And the sheep recognize the voice of the true shepherd. For he calls his own by name and leads them out. For they belong to him. And when he has brought out all the sheep. He walks ahead of them and they will follow him for they're familiar with his voice. But they will run away from strangers and never follow them because they know it's the voice of a stranger. Jesus told 
the Pharisees this parable, even though they didn't understand a word of what he meant. So Jesus went over it again. I speak to you eternal truth. I am the gate for the flock. All those who broke in before me are, are thieves who came to steal. But the shepherd never, but the sheep never listened to them. I am the gateway. To enter through me is to experience life, freedom, and satisfaction. A thief has only one thing in mind. He wants to steal, slaughter, and destroy. But I have come to give you everything in abundance, more than you expect. Life in its fullness until you overflow. And verse 11 says, I am the good shepherd who lays down my life as a sacrifice for the sheep. And I'm going to stop right there. The question that was asked of me this week is, how do I create new habits and adopt healthy behaviors to forge my life forward from trauma? And if you've been listening to me for a while, you know that my position on that word trauma, trauma is a thief. It is a thief. And the enemy sends it to rob us of our peace of mind, right? It comes to steal our peace, our joy. It just comes to raise havoc in our lives. Trauma is a thief. Now, the scripture says today, and I'm not going to go all over, I'll go over it again. I'm just going to preface it by saying, just to summarize a couple points in my response to this reader. Transformation, Christ brings redemption from those things that the enemy sends to destroy our lives. And transformation will set you free. But here's the thing. First, it will force you to make a decision. It will be painful. It will be uncomfortable. And then it will allow you to become. I have three simple ABC tips for you to consider from St. John 10 and verse 10. As you start your journey to freedom from trauma. Step one, A, awake to the truth that you can't hold on to pain or people who are toxic to you and not get sick. You, my friends, you were created to accelerate, to accelerate your purpose and to accelerate your mission in life. You were created to accelerate. You are not created to be stuck. That's the plan of the enemy. Step two, B, believe. Believe that you have the power to release what no longer serve your highest good. And allow God to redeem you from the darkness and slavery to sin. Sin keeps us imprisoned. <laughs> it's a yoke. It's like, it's chain. It's, it's bondage. When we're living in sin, we're not free to be who God created us to be. We're not free to walk in the abundance, the abundance of happiness, the abundance of love that surrounds us. We're, 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 we're not free. But this morning, I want you to know that you are significant and that God wants you to live an abundant life. Let's go back and let's look at St. John 10. It says, the word of God says that, he has come so that you may have life, everything in abundance, more than you expect. Jesus came so that you may live a life full, a full life, 
until that life is overflowing with peace, with joy, with gladness, with happiness. That is what Christ's intentions are for his people. And the last point is C, commit. Commit to finding that true freedom, that true freedom in Christ. Commit to radiating love from the balcony of your healing as you become who God had in mind. Why? Because you matter. Because you've got a purpose to fulfill. You deserve to walk in wholesomeness, in healing, in deliverance. You deserve to free yourself from the woman whom trauma created and start living an abundant life. And in closing, let me say, you can't give what you ain't got. Your greatest defense against pain in the past is intentional transformation through Christ. Consider this. The version of you that God called to impact the world is redeemed and transformed. Let me say that again. The version of you that God called to impact the world is redeemed and transformed. Today's a great day to start your journey to intentional transformation. And I've got an offer for you, my friends. I've taken the last three years to really sit down and to hear from the Holy Spirit. And I've published a book which is called The Thread. Let God into your heart and achieve intentional transformation. If you're struggling to let go of the pain in your past, if you're really desirous of living a totally transformed life in 2020 and beyond, then I invite you to grab a copy of the Thread book. It is available for purchase on Amazon, Barnes & Nobles, Target, Walmart, wherever books are sold. You can just grab a copy of the Thread book today and start your journey to intentional transformation. I believe that 2020 is going to be a year where women all over this globe rise to their highest potential. I believe that God raised me up to help you to reclaim your life. And I'm feeling so excited about what is going to take place in your life this year, 2020. So don't hesitate. Grab a copy of the thread book and let's start our journey to intentional transformation. God bless your hearts today. Feel free to share your comments in the section below. I'm going to post this on my website. <clears throat> as well as on my Facebook page. And I invite you to share your comments. If you have questions for me, please email me, leone at leonimattison.com. Connect with me on Facebook, Leonie H. Madison. I'm also on Instagram at Leonie H. Madison. Say hello to me on Twitter at Leonie Madison. God bless your hearts today. And remember my friends, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Have a fantastic day in the Lord.